Roger, why do you think that they're going after people like you? We heard last week they issued subpoenas for people like Kelly McEnany, the former press secretary, now you and, and some others. Uh, when will it stop and why do you think that they are continuing with this? Well, I think it is a distraction uh, from the country's other problems. I mean, record surges in gasoline prices, food shortages. I don't recall having those under President Donald Trump. Uh, supply chain issues. The fact that we are our foreign policy is a joke around the globe. The North Koreans restarting their nuclear arms program. The Chinese harassing our be our, our vessels in the South China Sea. The Iranians rain raining missiles on Israel. The Biden administration is a disaster. In the case of the House Democrats, I think they are trying to distract from their own criminality. I mean, we have a member of the House Intelligence Committee who's entitled to top secret uh, foreign, po pardon me, national security information, whose office was penetrated by a red Chinese spy. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard O'Jet here, and Roger Stone is the hemorrhoids of politics. This con artist has been manipulating the law to suit his personal gain since he was working to elect Nixon in the 70s. Whenever a shady white ring character pops up, be it Manafort, Bannon, Alex Jones, or even Trump, it appears the good old cockroach Roger Stone is right there by his side. Roger Stone should be in jail, and make no mistake about it, this is exactly where he will end up. You see, Trump may have pardoned him for his past crime, but this worm can't help himself. He will commit more crimes. That is exactly what he did leading up to January 6th. Roger Stone was one of the nefarious characters in Trump's inner circle, planning the insurrection and an attempted coup. For all of you non-lawyers out there, those two things are pretty big crimes here in America that carry with them some pretty harsh punishments. Roger Stone committed treason on the United States of America, and he should be grateful he is in America in 2021, because you know what the punishment would have been in 1861, right? You guessed it, death. Hey, Roger, why do you think they're going after people like you? Hmm, well, that's a good question. Why would the Justice Department be going after career scoundrels and crooks, people who have skated around the law their entire lives, and in his case, caught multiple times? He's not in jail for one reason, because he's a rich old white guy, as simple as that. This jackaloon is the epitome of the white I hate the most. He oozes sleaze and corruption. In the 1970s, people in the Republican Party came together and said they want nothing to do with him, and that was then and this is now. I like to believe that people can change, but in Stone case, once a cockroach, always a cockroach. We all know the story of the scorpion and the frog. A scorpion wants to cross the river but cannot swim, so it asks the frog to carry it across. The frog hesitates, afraid that the scorpion might sting it, but the scorpion promises not to, pointing out that they would both drown if the scorpion killed the frog in the middle of the river. The frog considers this argument sensible and agrees to transport the scorpion. The frog lets the scorpion climb on its back and begins to swim, but midway across the river, the scorpion stings the frog anyway, dooming them both. The dying frog asks the scorpion why why it stung despite knowing its consequence, to which the scorpion replied, I couldn't help it. It's my nature. Roger Stone can't help it. It's his nature. Just to briefly debunk everything this Jackaloon just said on this far-right radical propaganda network, President Biden is not responsible for the supply chain issues. It's a global problem, but nice try. Iran is not firing thousands of missiles on Israel because I'm sure that if they were, we would have heard about that. I could go on and on and say we did have a supply chain issue under Donald Trump. Remember the whole toilet paper situation? Roger Stone is a liar. He's a compulsive liar, and I cannot wait until he is back behind bars where he belongs. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.